Hi guys! So I uploaded this video a couple weeks back onto my Hebrew channel and it received so much love so I figured I would upload it here as well. Um, so this is Tamar and she is a client and I absolutely love her skin and her face shape and she reminds me so much of Catherine Zeta-Jones so that was pretty much the look I was going for today with this makeup. Um, basically I am prepping and moisturizing the skin here and of course all products will be listed down below in the information box as always so make sure you check that out. So basically I am just uh, prepping and priming everything and putting on a little bit of fast response under the eye and some primer wherever there are larger pores. For foundation I am using a little bit more of a fuller coverage foundation and I'm just applying that with a MAC 187 brush. I love using this brush when I apply uh, full coverage makeup on any one of my clients actually. Uh, it gives a really really beautiful coverage because when you mix it with a full coverage foundation it still apply, applies it very like lightweight and airbrushed and it just looks amazing. So Tamar has really amazing cheekbones so I'm just going to sculpt them out and basically I'm using a really dark concealer and I know this looks really really scary but I blend this out and take it up towards the hairline and down towards the chin and the jawline as well basically using just that same product that's on the cheek I won't add any more and I just blend it and blend it and blend it until it looks super super natural. So here I am just covering her under eye circles, even though she doesn't really have that much of under eye circles to be honest. Just mixing two shades here to get like a light kind of peachy tone and just popping that right under the eye and I'm using um, a synthetic brush from Sigma and I love using these brushes for concealer on myself, on clients, they're just amazing. I think if you're a makeup artist and you're still using those old school concealer brushes, try these because you will absolutely love them. Next I'm just going to highlight her face and basically I'm going for like the very traditional kind of Kim Kardashian style highlighting um, under the eyes and across um, or vertically going down the center of the skin or the center of the face and then I'm also going to just put that under um, in a tr opposite like a upside down triangle shape underneath her eyes because after I did this I felt like it was missing and just with Tamar's face structure it looks very very flattering to kind of make those inner cheeks pop. I'm going to very gently set all of this makeup with powder. I'm not going to put too much. By the end of the entire look, if I see that I need some more, I will apply some more just where needed and make sure to just pat on that powder to make sure you don't move anything that we've done underneath. Moving on to eyes, I really want to give Tamara like a nice kind of Catherine Zeta-Jones, very warm, smoky eye. So I am using this Makeup Forever Aqua Cream Shadow and I'm just going to slowly, slowly buff this all along the lash line. And then I'm going to take another cream shadow and basically work that from the previous cream shadow going upwards a little bit. And as you can see, this shade is a little bit more warm toned, a little bit more bronzy. So I'm slowly just working that in and then taking my time to make sure it's blended perfectly. And I just make sure that it, it's very flattering so every few minutes I ask her to open her eyes and I see if I need to go higher. And then finally I'm going to take a MAC Paint Pot and this is basically going to go into the socket and be the blending shade. Um, and then basically one of the things that I like to do when I'm doing makeup on a client is I like to spend a lot of time making sure the cream shadows and everything underneath is blended perfectly before I go on with eyeshadow because literally all I need to do from this point is just pat on some eyeshadow gently. It'll stick on really, really well and it will be super long lasting. and. It's just, it just makes really the whole process of doing eye makeup really, really easy for me on clients. So now I'm just going in with those shadows and I'm using Mystery as my darkest shade right, uh, right down close to the lashes. And this is the coolest shade I'm going to be using in the entire look. Next I'm moving on to a color called Sable by MAC, which I absolutely love. It's probably one of my favorite colors by, uh, by MAC, just because of the shade itself and also because of the texture and the quality of the shadow itself. It's absolutely amazing. So this is it right here and I'm basically just packing that all across the lid and it blends beautifully. It's one of those sh these shades that are so like buttery and creamy and so easy to blend out. 
So I make sure I apply the shades um, with a flat shader brush and then I go in with my MAC 217 brush and just blend everything out. Here I'm just using a very soft uh, neutral brown to blend out that crease and work my way upward. Using a very pale, shimmery, kind of frosted color, I'm just going to highlight right under the brow bone, not to make this too dramatic or too shiny, just a little, little bit right there, and it just gives nice, a really nice pop and lift to the, to the eyes and to the eyebrows. I'm gonna run whatever excess I have on those blending brushes, just like down under the eyes, just to give it a really smoky look. For some reason, my camera cut off here and you guys did not see me apply black um, pencil to her waterline and also a little bit of Kitchmas pigment by MAC just on top to give it a little bit more of a sparkle. So as you can see, I have applied mascara and I'm just kind of filling in her brows. Um, I went with a really strong brow just like Catherine Zeta-Jones has. I mixed two shades to make it look as natural as possible, but I felt like this look and with Tamar's face structure, it just looks really, really nice to have a really nice strong brow. Using some of my mineralized skin finish in dark to just kind of go over that contour that I've already done just to make sure it's set and it won't budge and just blended perfectly and I just love how the mineralized skin finish looks on the skin so I like to apply that and then I'm just kind of mixing some cream shadows here just to get like a sh kind of peachy coral shade that I really like. Um, Catherine Zeta-Jones usually has a bit of a darker uh, cheek color um, as well as lip color a little bit darker than what I'm gonna go for but I still wanted to keep this very modern and fresh and sometimes like a really dark blush color can look a little bit outdated just taking a little bit of highlighter um, it's more of like a shimmery blush to be honest and I'm just adding a little bit on the tops of the cheek I'm applying a little bit of lip primer and I'm going to allow that to absorb while I go on and apply some false lashes. I am using individual false lashes here just because I didn't want this look to look a little bit too much and um, it can look because as you see, as you're going to see, I'm going to be putting on a fairly strong lip. So some individual false lashes just to help out her own, nothing too dramatic. And now I'm going on with a lip pencil and just, you know, outlining the shape, making sure that that lipstick won't budge, won't move, um, just giving it a really nice kind of pout. I love using lip liners on darker skin because it just looks so amazing. And then I'm going in with my MAC palette and I believe this is Hang Up. In any case, like I said, products will be listed down below, but this lip color just looks beautiful on Tamara as well. Just finishing off this look with a little bit of the Shooting Star uh, Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC, which is a discontinued limited edition product, but I love it and I use it on almost all my darker clients. Not that Tamara is dark, but she is definitely darker than me. Um, and then I'm just using a little bit of mascara to make sure that the false lashes adhere to her lashes and some fixing setting spray just to finish it off and she is all done. So that's the completed look. I hope you liked watching this. Please let me know if you enjoy watching videos of me doing makeup for other people and if you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!